Hi, I am finally back on this channel after 24 days. It was the Diwali holidays and I was at home so I didn't have the setting uh, but I'm back. Uh, I'll probably upload one more video this week and if the animal trailer gets released that will also be covered this week so you can anticipate about three videos this week. Don't think that I didn't work when I was in a holiday. I made a short film. Uh, link is in the description and right here at the i button. If you want to watch it, please check it out. Thank you very much. And now let's talk about Tiger 3. Jab tak tiger mara nahi, tab tak tiger hara nahi. Even though the final action set piece of the film is set in a Pakistan Prime Minister office with some good hand to hand combat sequences as well as gunfight. Tiger 3 overall is quite a frustrating watch. Tiger 3 opens with a flashback to Katrina Kaif's character, which showcases us how she was adopted and trained by Imran Hashmi's character, Atish Rehman. And it's a very interesting concept which could have been utilized in a much better and much emotionally engaging way in later on in the film but unfortunately that's not the case. After that we get the introduction scene of Salman Khan which is a bike chase and it ends in a very over the top manner which I'm not a big fan of but it was okay. First half of Tiger 3 honestly feels like a rebranded Pathan. The story beats are so fucking similar. Tiger is forced by Imran Hashmi's character to steal something for him and Tiger and Zoya manage to steal it in Turkey and when they have successfully stolen whatever the MacGuffin of this film is, Zoya escapes and Tiger gets caught by the police. Where have I seen it? Just imagine you are the director of Raw and Eight months ago, one of your best agents was caught in Russia trying to steal something with a Pakistani ISI agent. And now your second best agent or maybe your first best agent, Tiger, is caught in Turkey trying to steal something with his wife. Wouldn't it shake your confidence in the kind of people that you have hired and the people you put your trust in? Imran Hashmi is the antagonist of the film who had lost his pregnant wife or girlfriend. Where have I seen it? Oh yeah, Pathan. However, that's not his motivation to go evil in this film, but still, Tiger 3, the, especially the first half, is very, very similar to Pathan. And if you have followed this channel, I am not a big fan of Pathan. After Tiger gets caught in Turkey, he's brought to Pakistan, from where he is rescued by Shah Rukh Khan's Pathan. I was honestly rooting for SRK's cameo in this film, but holy fuck, it was shockingly underwhelming. When we watched Salman Khan's entrance in Pathan, it was new and exciting. Salman Khan screaming Bhag Pathan Bhag was a very very cool callback to Bhag Arjun Bhag from Karan Arjun, Salman Khan and Shah Rukh Khan's most iconic film together. Now the reason Pathan's appearance in Tiger 3 is underwhelming is because it's not anything new. It honestly feels like both of the scenes were shot on the same fucking day in the same part of the film city. The sets are quite similar, the setting is quite similar, their looks, their outfits, everything just feels like this scene was shot very close to the scene in Pathan. Tiger saying Bhag Pathan Bhag was cool, but Pathan saying Bhag Tiger Bhag is not cool anymore because again, it's not new. We saw it coming already. I haven't been a very big fan of Shah Rukh Khan's look in Pathan, but somehow his look in Tiger 3 is even worse and I don't even know how to explain it. The Pathan and Tiger scene in Pathan was truly exciting and honestly the best scene of that film. It was engaging, thrilling and exciting and obviously a big, big fan service. However, the same scene in Tiger 3 just does not work. Again, partly because it's nothing new and partly because it's way over the top to be enjoyed. And the CGI of that scene honestly makes it visually quite unpleasant at many moments. Another thing I've noticed in Tiger 3 is Salman Khan is very casually hanging on to things, but it never feels like that. Because when you actually hang, the way your shoulders and arms should stretch, do not stretch in this film. It just honestly feels like he's holding on to something and standing in a bus. It doesn't feel like Tiger and Pathan are hanging from a parachute, rather it feels like they are standing in a bus and casually chit-chatting. In my opinion, a better scene for Pathan could have been a scene where he rescues Tiger's son. It could have been a very cool hand-to-hand -hand close combat action scene and we could have seen more of Pathan doing his, you know, fist fights. Now that wouldn't have made Tiger and Pathan's presence in the same frame possible, but it would have certainly been better than the scene that we got in the actual film. Other than that, the action of Tiger 3 is genuinely good. Strictly from an action point of view, the last 45 minutes of Tiger 3 are actually quite engaging. But 
when it comes to the story and characters point of view the film does get very convoluted with all the flashbacks and double crossings in the last 45 minutes Imran Hashmi as Atish Rahman is definitely the highlight of this film Welcome to Pakistan Tiger Even though we know what his motivations are in the film it's not very well directed or executed that we can actually understand why he is the way he is and the character writing is not the best but the aura that Imran Hashmi brings to the character is definitely spectacular and the way he has been shot and directed like walking in slow motions the cool background music he is definitely a very cool villain but again we don't know a lot about his motivations there isn't too much going on between tiger and zoya in this film in the first 30 minutes it's implied that there might be some trust issues and conflict amongst the two but it doesn't lead anywhere and for some reason tiger and zoya don't feel like a real couple they feel like teammates there should have been a sense of them being protective about each other but that's simply just missing in this film pathan was more protective of rubina in his film than tiger is protective of his wife This is something I found quite underwhelming because the film could have found a way to explore their character dynamics and their love for each other but that didn't happen. Tiger 3 brings a comparatively simpler story to the table but in a very convoluted manner. The screenplay does get boring at times and even though the action is really good I did not personally feel a connection to the cause that Tiger and Zoya are fighting for. Overall I spent about 400 rupees on this film excluding the petrol but I don't think it was worth it. Now I have already made a video talking about shared cinematic universes and I have talked about YRF spyverse in that video but this is a topic that has recently interested me a lot because I see a lot of problems in the YRF spy universe. I have some concerns with it and I'll be continuing that discussion in a later video. and if you want to check it out consider subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for that